to break that down. Jason Tatum at the podium. Jason, um, is there anything about the Miami Heat team that has surprised you during this series? And as the best player on the team, what can you do on and off the court to get the team ready and change the momentum of the series? Yeah, I think um, just as tough as it, as tough as it, as it is, as tonight was, um, we just got to try to move on. Um, prepare, get ready, you know, practice, film and stuff for tomorrow. Um, and, I, you know, obviously we're in a tough position, but, um, you know, we just got to have some pride, bounce back, um, and just be better come Tuesday. Jason, it, it appeared like you guys gave up in the third quarter once they made that big run. And what happened out there emotionally? Are you guys disconnected? Is there something going on in the locker room or something that you're sensing that's slipping away because it did seem like you guys let go of the rope tonight? Uh, yeah, tonight was tough. Uh, you know, I think from the beginning of the game, uh, we was turning the ball over. Uh, we didn't shoot the ball well. They shot the ball extremely well. And uh, it just kind of felt like we never recovered, honestly. Um, and that's on, that's on all of us as, as a unit. Um, you know, we didn't play well at all. And, uh, and obviously by the score, it, it showed. Jason, you and Jalen combined to shoot 12 or 35 from the field. The team shot 40% from the field. How tough have the Heat and their defensive principles made it on you guys uh, in, you know, in a game like this with your backs on the wall? Uh, yeah, I, I didn't, I didn't shoot the ball well at all tonight. Um, but you know, I think, uh, you know, we got some open looks. You know, coming off the pick and roll, getting doubled. Uh, you know, um, hitting over the top, playing four on three. Uh, you know, I, we just didn't shoot the ball well at all. We couldn't hit anything. Uh, and I mean, give them credit, they're a really good defensive team. You know, they play hard, they communicate. Uh, but, you know, there, we, had, we had a lot of open looks tonight that, uh, you know, we normally make. Jason, it seems like they've just been playing at a different speed than you guys in the first three games. Have you guys maybe underestimated how much effort they were going to put forth and, and how well they were going to play? Uh, I don't think so. You know, we're familiar with this team. You know, we've, we've played them third time now uh, in the playoffs. We know how, uh, you know, how hard they play and, and you know, the pace that they move. Um, and, you know, the first two games, you know, we've had double-digit leads. You know, we played well for most of it. We've just had, you know, a couple minutes here and there where, uh, you know, that really hurt us. Um, obviously, tonight we didn't play well at all. Um, but I don't think, you know, surprised by the, the, play, the pace that they play at. Jason, do you guys uh, think you can make history and come back and win this series? How confident you are? Yeah, uh, you know, I, we better be, right? Uh, and, but we know it's tough. Um, we know we're not looking down the road. We're just looking to get ready uh, to bounce back and play better come Tuesday, um, try to get a win. Jason, it seemed like um, we're in left. The Officiating kind of bothered you guys at points. The, the obviously you guys missed a lot of shots in the game, but the when the effort kind of went away for you guys in the third quarter, how surprising was that from your standpoint um, in a game of this magnitude that it, you guys kind of let go of the rope like that? Uh, yeah, I mean, just being transparent is unfortunate. Um, you know, we obviously wanted to come out, perform better, play better, um, have a different outcome, or at least give ourselves a chance. Uh, and you know it's tough. It, for whatever reason, we didn't didn't have it tonight. Uh, and you know, this point of the season, um, you know, you don't want to say that. Uh, but you know, that's that's on us. We we uh, as a unit, we didn't we didn't play well. Jason, the truth is, the season the season is not over yet. But the mentality for the game four, maybe. Another plan? Yeah, uh, definitely play better than we did tonight. Uh, and, you know, have some pride, obviously, 
Um, and, you know, believe that, you know, we just got to win on Tuesday. That's just the, um, the message, the mentality that we have is, you know, get a win on Tuesday. And, you know, we'll figure the rest out from there. Jason, you, you guys have obviously been good in these situations throughout, like even your time here, like the kind of backs against the wall, not being routed by road games. Where do you think things kind of went south in this one? And did you see any like any signs of it? Did this feel any different even coming coming into it? Coming into it, no. Uh, and, you know, it's two sides of this. They played well tonight. You know, they came out the gates firing. You know, they shot the ball extremely well from the field and from the three. Um, we did it and uh, just kind of like a snowball effect. And, um, you know, normally we respond um, when, you know, teams going to a run, we respond. But, you know, tonight uh, shots weren't falling. And, uh, you know, I think we let that affect us a little too much, honestly. Joe said he thought that some of your defensive identity has been lost. Um, where have you seen the, the slippage in that, and why haven't you guys been able to rely on the defense that really carried you to the finals last season? Yeah, I think uh, we just got to gotta be connected more. I think, you know, um, five guys all on the same page, competing at the same level, talking, um, and just, you know, being there for one another, right? Every possession is not perfect. You know, you're going to get beat, you know, um, mistakes happen, but uh, we just have to do a better job of, you know, being there for one another, um, having each other's back, and just being a little bit more connected um, on defense. Jason, the narrative over the next 48 hours will be whether you, that you guys quit and you guys are not the team that people thought you were and that you're not the star, Jason, all of that. How do you ignore that over the next two days and try to focus on winning a game after such a poor performance? Uh, I deleted Twitter um, from my phone to start the playoffs. So uh, honestly, I haven't seen anything um, good, bad, or indifferent, you know, since game one against the Hawks. Uh, so, you know, I'm, you know, I'm certain after every game you win, you're the best player and the best team, and you know when you lose, you're not the star, and the team's not good enough. So uh, I'm certain there'll be some of that, uh, but you know, out of sight, out of mind. You know, you don't see it because uh, that's not what's important. What's important is you know the guys in the locker room, teammates, coaches, and uh, you know we all in this together, just trying to figure it out.